All right, in today's tech tip, I want to show you a quick and easy way that you can create a simplified thread representation using a revolved cut feature. Basically what this involves is just drawing a sketch, revolving a cut feature, and then patterning the sketch. Now to do this demonstration for you, I first want to view my temporary axis. So I'll go under my Hide Show Items drop-down list, turn on my temporary axis, and that turns on the temporary axis that's running through the center of this part. And as you can see, we just have a basic revolved part, uh, something you might encounter in oil field industry or maybe hydraulics, something like that, where you typically will want to come in and put some threads on a particular area. Now let's go in and take a look at a front view, and I'll go into a new sketch in that front plane. Now I would just draw in the sketch of my thread profile. Now in the case of standardized threads, you may want to create those as blocks and store them here in your design library. Here I've got a standard V-thread for a 12-pitch uh, V-thread profile, and I'm just going to drop that, that block into my sketch, and now I can use that as my sketch profile. You can add relationships, you can add dimensions to position and constrain this profile. And notice as I drag this around, I can snap it to existing geometry and position it. What I want to do here is get the, uh, the thread depth positioned exactly correct. And I know that for a 12-pitch thread, uh, that the uh, thread depth is going to be about 51 thousandths below the nominal diameter. So let's drop in a sketch point and dimension my 51 thousandths here to the bottom of the thread. And now I can just take that sketch point, drag it, and drop it to snap onto the end of my part. That's going to give me the, the uh, proper thread depth for my profile. Now all we do is take that sketch and do a simple revolved cut feature. For the axis to revolve about, here's where I'm going to choose my temporary axis. However, I could have already sketched in a center line to revolve about, and that would work as well. Now I have one tooth created with a simple cut revolve. Now all we need to do is just linear pattern that cut revolve feature. So I'll pre-select the cut revolve, hit my linear pattern command, and now I need to specify a direction, which would mean either a dimension or an edge or an axis in the direction of the pattern. Once again, that temporary axis will be convenient. I'll select the temporary axis, and now I just change either the direction, spacing, and number of instances. Here for our spacing, we want this to be a 12 pitch. So I'll just key in 1 divided by 12 and let SolidWorks do the math for me. Now with my visual preview, I'll just increase the number of instances until it looks like that, that thread profile has cleanly exited the uh, relief area. About 22 instances looks good there. Let's check mark that. And notice that this feature rebuilds very quickly because it's just a pattern of a simple revolve cut. So this technique uh, is, a, is a very efficient technique from a CPU standpoint in that it's not making an overly cl complex geometry. Now, from a distance, this looks just like any other threaded part. Of course, on close inspection, you could tell that it is just a revolved profile and not a true helix. But in the interest of CPU expense and in the interest of just a simplified display, this revolve technique is really useful. And of course, we can then section our model, and in a, in a section view in a drawing, that's going to look really nice and gives almost as good of impression as a true helical thread. So that's a great quick little technique for creating simplified threads using a patterned cut revolve feature.